So I got broody <laughs> and I did a thing. Um, I happened to find another SH50 and I went and bought it. <laughs> it's another project for us to work on and it's very rough condition as you can see leg shields are broken obviously and it's a good job i have a spare set of red ones which means i'm gonna have to paint this bike if i can't get a hold of a set of blue ones it's very bad condition the wheels the wheels are you couldn't save them uh, just gone so I've decided to get a new set of rims for the other bike because the, there was a cheapish kind of rim I bought for the back of it and it chipped, the chrome chipped on it. So um, I think I'm going to use those two rims on this bike and I'm going to put two good rims on the other one because it's in such much better condition than this. Um, yeah, the condition's poor. I'm going to need a new back piece. Um, you can see the shape that the aluminium's in from the casings. That's not going to be. You can paint it, but it'll still show through the paint. It'll look a lot better though. Uh, I have my foot rests. I think I'm going to use the two bolts for the other bike because I have two foot rests to go on the other bike. Um, you can see the paint stripping off the engine there. Um, I will be doing a will it start video on this you can see that there's a bit of a crack here but I'm not going to replace that I'm just going to fix it this is not going to be a nut and bolt restoration it's not going to be like the other one and um, I'm just going to get it running and get it into decent looking shape and possibly sell it on I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet seat needs a cover like birds or something was at this Rats, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'm missing the catch for the seat. As you can see. So, try and open it up. And what have we got underneath? Underneath we've got this. <laughs> which is not too bad. And the surprise was... Look how clean that tank is. So I know what I'm going to be doing with that. That's going to be going on the other bike, that tank. And I may go back and convert the other bike to a vacuum system again, like is on this, because I have the tap now off this. So I might do that. Um, bar that. Uh, I haven't even seen if it's loosened up yet or nothing. Uh, It does turn over it doesn't sound good <laughs> it's a bit uh, gritty sound but we'll see what we can do so the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to give it a good damn wash because it is just it's been sitting in a shed for years and years and it's just dust and dirt and grime everywhere on the thing so that's what I'm going to do first today and then I'll probably do a will it start I have that video made actually at this stage but um I'll put it earlier on in this video so that it matches <laughs> uh, because of the dirt and everything. I just done it as was, as I got it. And I'm not going to tell you what happened. You'll be able to see later on. Um, and that's it. So you can watch me power wash it if you want. It might make a nice video. Let's uh, get set up. So, first attempts at trying to start this new one, and this is a will it start video, I do not know what it's going to do, I haven't tried it yet, you can see the shape it's in, um, it's a barn find, probably hasn't ran in many years, but let's give it a shot, I'll see if I can get you a view here while I'm at. Um, eh, not see much there, <laughs> see what we can do for you. Not good. I'm trying to get you a view of the carburetor because that's what I'm sort of working at. Sorry about the racket in the background. That's just the, the neighbours chatting away there. Yeah, that might be enough to do, yeah. If 
the phone doesn't fall, hopefully. Ooh, that's promising. doesn't seem to want to continue it's like it's not getting fuel or the carburetor probably needs cleaning out or something but wow <laughs> it just went like nearly first kick there that was very good it's just not staying idling or anything and it's revving up pretty high yes every time I lift the throttle it's not really doing anything doesn't want to stay running though so I might need to clean out the carburetor but wow like um, went a lot better than I thought I could have a compression it compression issue there I don't know Um, I fully intend to sort of rebuild this engine anyway but there you go that's the first of um, my second SH50 videos and I don't know, I'm, I'm going to call this one Old Blue, just so that you know the difference in the two when you see a video posted about them. So, there you go. As I said, I'll give you another video later of a walk around to the bike. It's just in a shed here and it's too tight to sort of give you a look at it, but it's very rough. Okay, for now. <laughs>
but um, it's not looking good to be honest. Um, I opened this carburetor and I don't think you'll be surprised to see that it's quite tarred up inside by the E5 fuel. So we're using E5 fuel with this bike and that's what it does to a carburetor. I've been cleaning it up a bit but you can see that these jets are just stuffed to the nines. Uh, stuffed. So I had a spare carburetor from the other bike which I kept and I'm going to use the jets out of it because the jets were pretty good with it and hopefully we'll have a run and bike then with some luck and that seal was broken so that definitely wouldn't have been helping it so I'm going to use this seal from the other one and I'm going to use the bowl of the other one because if you look at the bowl this is the original bowl and you can see the bottom of that that is not tidy <laughs> So I'm going to use the bowl off the other better one that I have here. Uh, this bowl. That's a little bit better but there's still a bit of sediment in the bottom of it. That'll clean out of it no problem. I have a better fuel tank with this bike. so Which I am actually going to put on the good bike that I have. Um, this seal. Probably not as good as the seal that's on this. So I'll probably use the seal that's on that one. So... That's what's happening so far. Um, see you in a few minutes when I have it put together and back on the bike. Okay, so I don't have any carb cleaner at the minute. So I'm just going to chance this the way that it is. I've put different jets into it, which I believe are clean. Um, cleaned up the bottom of that bowl a little bit. Put the different seal on the top. And I'm going to put it together now, get on the bike and see what happens fitted back to the bike as you can see battery hooked up from my old other SH50 and I'm just going to give it a little turn here to see what it does see if we can get anything out of it oh we're not getting any need to just get a bit better of an earth hopefully if I can get this jammed in some way, we'll... Let's see. It ain't doing any good so far. Might take it a minute to get some fuel into the carb. I do like that old vacuum system that's on these anyway. So, I don't know where to put this here that you can see what I'm at. Uh, see what we can do here. That might have to do yous. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, that ain't doing much. It's not even getting what I was getting out of it the other night, so. Um, I guess I'll have to go back to the drawing board and see what the story is. So, that'll have to do it for the day, guys, because I've got a few things to do, and... Oh, I can see the carbs overfilling here. I better go. 